Hello, thanks for joining me on uh, for this time in uh, Samuel and springtime. We'll be looking at the first book of Samuel. Chapter 6, today is May 6th, Thursday, May 6th, and we're looking at the sixth chapter of the first book of Samuel. If you will recall, the Philistines had taken the ark in battle, and now... <laughs> It has plagued them so severely, killing, and those who weren't killed had uh, tumors and uh, all kinds of disease and pestilence, and they need to get that ark back to the Israelites. And so they, they ask their seers and diviners, their like, smart people among them, to tell them what to do. Uh, it says they're priests and diviners. So, uh, they ask them, what should we do with the ark of the Lord? How should we send it? back to its place and initially they say which is the right thing uh, that you need to uh do a guilt offering you need to make some kind of um guilt offering to the israelites so that they will have you know a recompense and then their god won't further visit upon you plague well, this is a common understanding of when you've defiled something that's holy in someone else's backyard, you, you, you offer something in return to the placate the deity. But what they offer is very strange. The seers and the diviners and the priests, they tell them to make, to fashion tumors out of gold five of them to represent the five kings of the Philistines and little mice fashioned out of gold to represent the five major cities. It's very strange to me um, that they would come up with like the plague that you have <laughs> sat upon us, we will fashion gold idols in the image of the pestilence, and we will um, send them to you. It's almost as if, like we were experiencing the pandemic, the coronavirus, right? And we would make little god, little gold um, coronavirus. You know how they t show us what the virus looks like? It has little spikes all over it, and then send that as a as a peace offering, so we could get out of the pandemic. Like, why would you send? A bad thing but that's what they decide to do so uh they decide to put the gold instead of just a bag of gold coins or something uh they they make the gold tumors and the gold mice and they put it on the ark and then they have very specific instructions about how to take the ark so they do it completely unmanned they they take these what they call in my translation it says mulch cows um and the cows had never been yoked before but they had to be grown up and they um, put, they attach the milch cows to the, a cart and put the ark on the cart and put the gold tumors and the gold mice on the cart. And then they send it. Um, uh, they took, and, and then the cows went straight in the direction. And they said, if the cows go in the right direction, if they return the ark themselves without, you know, human humankind around them, then, then, then we know that our offering is good and we've done the right thing. And, and so they follow it, you know, they send it in the cat with cows and they follow it and they see that it goes directly to the town of Beth Shemesh. And it is discovered by the, uh, I guess he's a farmer in his field, Joshua, the Beth Shemeshite. Shemeshite, yeah. And uh, so he is the, the person, and they discover, they see it coming, and they, they say, the, the ark is returned to us, yay, and they all celebrate, and they bring it back. But, uh, and they also, they sacrifice the animals that had brought it uh, to God, and that, that just seems kind of odd. I think they should be rewarded for bringing it, but they kill them and eat them, uh, or send them up there. And, and so then they're, when they look up, they find they rejoice. Um, and then this strange thing happens. 
the descendants of Jeconiah did not rejoice with the people of Beth Shemesh when they greeted the Ark of the Lord. And he killed 70 men of them, and the people mourned because the Lord had made a great slaughter among the people. Then the people of Beth Shemesh said, Who is able to stand before the Lord, this holy God? To whom shall he go so we may be rid of him? So they sent messengers to the inhabitants, inhabitants of this place saying the Philistines have returned the Ark of the Lord. So, um, okay. They lost the Ark in battle and I don't know what their punishment was for that, but they get punished for not celebrating that the Ark returns. I'm just gonna turn to wonder, kind of turn my head and look at that as a mystery. I don't really understand why 70 people had to die because they didn't celebrate that the Ark came back. Um, it seemed very full of grace to me, but uh, it maybe it needs to be said that um, this is a good thing and they should have celebrated. So uh, that's that. But that's chapter six. Now we have the Ark of the Covenant returned into the hands of the Israelites. Uh, we don't know if it's yet in Shiloh, but I imagine it. That's where it's headed for, and um, and the, everyone. Almost everyone is rejoicing. So um, I hope you have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed Chapter 6 in the Book of Samuel. Uh, we actually, so now that the Ark has returned, we may return to the narrative of the actual prophet, judge, and priest, Samuel. <laughs>